before we get into your Persian heritage, mm. because I don't know that there's any Persian heritage in this fridge. Oh, Let's God. get into the fridge. Yeah. I'm looking at your fridge. You guys can oh see the God. fridge. Oh, my God. I have to look at the photo one more time because I'm like, what did you see? I'm actually going to share my screen with you. Okay. So we can be looking okay. at the same exact Okay, we're looking at the fridge. Stuff. This is embarrassing. Okay. Okay, now everyone can see the fridge on my Instagram at Stand Up Dan Nagin. Oh, what I'm yes. what I'm noticing with a lot of a lot of my fellow brown comedians uh-huh. uh, and celebrities yeah. who've made it uh-huh. is that there's usually no trace of any immigrant stuff <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> like Maz Jobrani's fridge, you have no idea he's Persian. <laughs> And I have to say this, this is a bougie ass fridge. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's got a lot of bouge going on. Though. Well, um, I want to I do a special shout out to the maple syrup that we bought from a farmer's market um, at exactly like several times the cost of a regular syrup, <laughs> maple syrup. <laughs> And and it's so delicious. It's like a deep dark maple syrup. And I, because I'm trying to be one of those people that doesn't use sugar, but you know, like I lose my mind sometimes, so I sweeten with maple syrup, which is uh, the bougiest thing that you could admit to. Is that you're like I'm trying to get away from cane sugar, so <laughs> I'm using a lot of replacement maple. I gotta um, say, maple syrup is one of my favorite things, though. It is. And it's there's delicious. like if you go on a deep dive on maple syrup, like they have, I think there's like five grades of it Ooh. like from a to d and it's like it's all about the darkness and the viscosity Ooh! so yes. is it like if it's more viscous which essentially you're t- we're talking thick right yes. um yes. it's uh it's a higher quality or a lower quality I wish I knew. Okay, got you. I should know the answer. Got you. I want to say it's a higher quality if it's thicker because in penises, as well as in maple syrup, you want a thicker consistency. A thicker viscosity (laughs) penis is usually a higher quality (laughs) penis. Um, I don't know. I could see them being like, oh, man, that's how they cheapen it. They put thickeners in it. You want that really thin maple syrup. Right, right. No, exactly. They, like, (laughs) added some fucking flour or something to, like, make it appear thick. Yeah. You know, I feel like it's funny. I can relate with you because my fridge actually looks a lot like yours. Like, I have a lot of bougie stuff in my fridge. And I always feel like if my parents had any idea how much money I spent on some of this stuff, like, they would just lose their Mind. My mom, I when she visits me and sees sometimes like that I brought home something, you know, she'll be like, "How much was that?" And and here's the thing with my parents, and I, I and it might be true for your parents too, is that like they've made it, you know? What I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, they yeah, made it. Doing- <laughs> like, <laughs> but they, they will always to- live like 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 they're homeless. Like, that's no, exa- at least with my parents, one hundred percent. We're in the <laughs> middle. We're about to be in a depression. At any point, even though they're they were born after Depression era, they were born after wars. Like they don't, I don't know why they have that in their bodies. It's like an immigrant thing of living with, you know, finding the better deal, like living cheaply. Um, and so, yeah. and I'm like, and I'm just like, you guys have reached an age where you don't need to worry about how much this maple syrup costs. Like, stop <laughs> asking questions, you know. But they, um, but they very much, it's like a, it's like an assault on their um, set, their way of life to to buy things that are so needlessly expensive. And and for me, I totally feel that. Like, I know when I'm buying something that feels. Like ridiculous, like a ridiculous expense, and and yeah. they're small things too, right? So it's a ridiculous expense of, you know, I went to the farmer's market and I bought um, this natural harvest kimchi, which you'll also see in the um, in the door of the refrigerator at the oh top my God, left. You got bougie there. kimchi also. A bougie kimchi <sighs> made by like you know made by a farmer um and <laughs> is it a uh, korean farmer or it's just a korean a... farmer yeah 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 okay, like, it was like a korean woman who like got all of her cabbage from some you know whatever and there it is and it um is. and you know and i thought to myself well this is a helping a farmer b it's like special c it's like I, i'm meeting the maker you know there's there's reasons that you say to yourself okay this thing might cost, I actually don't know how much kimchi normally costs, but anyways, I was like, this thing might cost, you know, $5 if I bought it from the store. Now I'm buying it for 10. That's okay. It's like for a good, there's a goodness yes. around it. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I'm with you. I pay the premium for the goodness as well. I think 
you know, you know, you're supporting nice people who believe in their food and farming is a grind. Mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. let him have a couple more bucks. Yes. I do think, though, you went a little too bougie on something, which I think the non bougie is always better than the bougie, which is all which for me is ketchup. Oh, I'm not a a fan of bougie ketchup. What's wrong with bougie ketchup? I don't know. It just has this tinny kind of tomatoey weirdness where, I don't know, I like the processed Heinz better. Right, 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 right. There's yeah. The, <laughs> that your, corn your syrup, elitism, man. It's sort of like, yeah, your elitism doesn't extend to actual tomato flavor in ketchup. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, I can get down with it, but I just feel like I've, I've, never, I've never met an organic ketchup that I've wanted over just a, like a corn syrupy. A standard uh, issue. Standard yeah. issue. <laughs> yeah, government yeah. issue ketchup. I mean, and I'm not like that with everything. Like with, with peanut butter, I like the bougie mm. organic peanut butter mm. better than Jiffy. Mm. That's interesting because I, I have more. I mean, to me, a Jiffy is more like a party, you know? And the organic, you know, like the Brad's organic, no sugar added or whatever, is a little bit more like work. (laughs) It's a little more like a job. Um, And so I have a little less fun where, you know. Well, mixing the oil in with the peanut butter is always the worst. It's like the worst part of anyone's day. You're churning your own peanut butter at a certain point and it's not, it doesn't have the same, you know, it's just not the same fun. Um, But I, but I want to say that I really love a curry ketchup. Have you Ooh, had a curry yeah. ketchup like with a bratwurst or something? I feel like the only place I've had a curry ketchup is um, I feel like w- like a McDonald's in Europe or something. Yes, yes, you know yes, yes, they, yes, one hundred percent. Yes, they have like the different flavors. Love that. I love. Yeah. A, I want to be. I want America to adopt more of that in our yeah. um, in like our fast food, you know, uh, lifestyles of just like um, instead of the regular ketchup, I'll have a curry ketchup. And, yeah. uh, and a kimchi ketchup. Thank you. You and know, it's just like mayo. a fun, yeah, and a wasabi mayo. Just like a, make, make that stuff more flavorful and interesting. Like you know, it could be funny. garbage. It could still be garbage, but just garbage with some spice. Yes, I, I'm with you. I, I add a little, a little cowbell. I do think, though, it's funny. I, I do think within barbecue sauces, I love bougie barbecue sauce better than basic barbecue sauce. And you have. Probably the most basic barbecue so sauce in your in the door of the fridge here. I know. Craft spicy honey barbecue yeah. sauce and dip. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, just in my own defense, we just finished a whole thing of like a fancy barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the plan B. This is this but, is week five of quarantine but barbecue sauce. I want to say for people who don't know the craft spicy honey barbecue sauce. It's really delicious. You know, it is. It's just delicious. Um, One of the things I grew up, because I grew up in Palm Springs, California, not too far from where you currently live. And um, we grew up with Carl's Jr. We we actually don't have Carl's Jr. on this side of the country. I think we have Hardee's, but not in New York City. So anyways, this is some, this is an itch I scratch only like once a year or whatever when I'm visiting home. Um, you go to Carl's Jr. and you get the double Western bacon cheeseburger, or you get the Western bacon cheeseburger and you get extra barbecue sauce. Uh, that it was like a thing I grew up eating. Like hmm. it was a treat. Like once every couple weeks, my mom would be like, we're going to Carl's Jr. We're getting the disgusting thing you love, you know? And, um, and so this, this spicy honey barbecue sauce sort of like harkens me back to those days. Oh, got it. Yeah. Full disclosure, I've never been to Carl's Jr. Shut your yeah. face. <laughs> That's a real shame. I think you need to carpe the diem and like get into that. A Western bacon cheeseburger um, with like a nice bacon that a Muslim shouldn't eat. Not that you're a Muz. But like, well, this, but this also Jew a Jew shouldn't, shouldn't eat a nice bacon. Do you eat the bacons? <laughs> I do. I, I, okay, so I, we're both terrible. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're both awful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so delicious. 